Ooh, uh, I started boxing when I was 16. Uh, I used to work at a chip shop. This is a strange story, this, and nowadays would probably be illegal. Uh, my boss said to me, do you want to come to a boxing gym guy? And I said, yeah, why not? So I boxed for like a year and a half. Um, and then when I went to university, I started taking up different stuff there. I did a bit of Muay Thai, a bit of this. And then finally, I took up Taekwondo. Did about, I mean, in total, about 10 years in Taekwondo. And then I started cross-training while I was doing the Taekwondo, doing MMA. Uh, did loads of MMA. Really enjoyed it. Smashed my collarbone cycling, which is very dangerous, be aware of that. Uh, and then ended up going to jiu-jitsu because I was kind of scared that having had a broken collarbone, I wouldn't have to do the MMA anymore. Collarbone's fine. Did a bunch of wrestling, did a bunch of other stuff. And here I am. Lots of jiu-jitsu, lots of MMA. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's really exciting for me, actually. When I arrived, I'm a very slow learner. I found this all very difficult. It's a practice. Or, you know, when I was doing my tackle, I practice on my blocks and walking. You know, it like, took me ages. And to get to the point where I can show people those skills, I mean, it's slightly disappointing that they learn them so much faster than I did and are so much better, so quicker. Um, but it, it's wonderful. And passing that thing on, I know how much martial arts, uh, from a social point of view, from a confidence point of view, has given me. And to be able to impart that to a very thing, I teach everyone from like little kids to you know, people who are older than me. Um, and I love it, I absolutely love it. I think it gives so much. It's a pleasure for me, I love to teach. I absolutely love to teach. So I, st I mean, I started like back in, it really is back in the day. So I started doing, doing MMA at Allegiance back in the day and have been training there on and off like for years and years and years now. Um, most of the stuff I do now, I train over at Nova Vida, do my Jiu Jitsu over at Nova Vida. Um, and most of the stuff I do now, we live in an internet age, get on the internet. I, sometimes I do pay for DVDs, buy a DVD through the post. I watch it, do all kinds of stuff. It's fascinating to be able to see these things. Whenever there's a seminar, I get myself over and you know, learn what I can. And a lot of what I do is I learn and then I teach myself through teaching. So I learn it, kind of go through and I like to write and I do little smiley pictures. And then I go, okay, cool. I'll go and show the guys I train with all the time. I kind of core training partners, uh, Barry, this is for Barry. He's the man. Um, and then what will happen is, I kind of develop in that way. So I use whatever tools are available for me. And what's wonderful about this is everybody's a teacher. I, I roll with a white belt and they do something. I go, ooh, I'd never thought about that. And then I take it away from me and I, and I develop it and go from there. So that's what's wonderful about it. I love it. Uh, oh, super gym, absolutely super gym. Great bunch of guys and girls, lots of women who train there as well. Um, we run a, a pretty full schedule and you can do everything you want there. But the, I mean, the real thing is this is when you Go and find a gym. And this applies not just to our gym, but it applies to all gyms. You've got to find someone that's comfortable for you. That's the key. So come down, try it out. You know, it's very friendly. It's a great place to start. You know, I know a lot of people who go to gyms um, are kind of are put off because they, they think, oh, I'm going to get beaten off. I'm going to get this and that. It's not like that. It's simply not like that. You need to find a gym that fits you, fits your style and, and works for you well. So yeah, Allegiance is the place. But there are other gyms. You can try other places. You'll end up back with us, but that's where you can go. I like to really focus on the fundamentals. These are like the basics. And what I look at is stuff. What have I been tapped in with comp? Not necessarily recently, but what, well, that does happen. Uh, <laughs> what have I been tapped with? What are the things that I learned that elevated my game fast? It's the stuff I want the fastest. You know, the Kimura can be used everywhere. So if I teach you on your day one of Kimura, that means you can now defend yourself and attack from almost every position. So it's a case of what are the fundamentals? What do I need to learn? And what's going to elevate your game fastest? That's the key here. What can you learn the fastest? It's, all, it's going to take a long time anyway. You want to get as many head starts as you can. I've had the pleasure of uh, going to a corner a couple of times at the Combat Challenge things, and it's great. Very respectful attitude. They really look after the fighters, make sure everything's going well. It runs slick, it runs smooth, and it's a nice show. I'd like to go as a punter. I'd like to go as a, you know, we're going to say professional. As a professional, I'd like to go and help out. It's good. It's a really well done show. So get your tickets, get yourself over there.